Victor Saravia versus Austin Brooks. They had a little featherweight fight. It was about four rounds. And it so of course Austin Brooks was the the main prospect to showcase. And so it was sort of predetermined that he was gonna win anyway. Uh but the the interesting thing about Austin Brooks is he looked good in the first round. He was doing a little showboating in there too that actually worked out. And the second round second round looked a little good too. But um yeah, the the tail end of the second round, I think Saravia started to to figure it out. Yeah, like Victor, Victor was figuring that he needed to press. So he did. He started to press the action and he was he was catching Austin and the third round that was clearly uh, Victor's round. I mean, I, I, you know, that was easy to score for me. And then the fourth round, um, Victor was pressing the action, and now Austin was scoring. And that's the only thing is the fact that Austin was scoring, fighting off the back foot, and he was just slipping, and but he he kept on moving off the back foot and and uh, giving a lot of distance. It it. it it sucks sometimes in boxing. It, it sucks like that when a fighter is scoring when they're going backwards and they're just really quick. So they so you can't really touch them. And that's what was happening because Victor was trying to fight. But because he's so short, he really couldn't get up to he couldn't catch up to Austin Brooks at all. And and he didn't corner Austin Brooks either. So he was sort of let him off the hook. But he was the one pressing the action and he was the one walking Austin Brooks down. And so it sort of sucks because it's only a four round fight to see what could have happened if that fight would have would have gone, you know, like, say, 10 rounds or something like that. But, uh, you know, all in all, OK, I feel it's it probably is a three one decision for, for Austin Brooks, but that that fourth round, even though he's scoring. He really didn't want to fight that fourth round. And I'm not, he didn't look gassed, but he definitely does not feel comfortable with somebody being in close with him. So uh, they're going to have to work on that. And it definitely showed with his experience level, not too high. Yeah, but even though he, he sh- he's showing some really good things when it comes to fighting off the back foot, that, I mean, he was catching Victor off the back foot. So, I mean, it, it it's there, but he, he you could tell he didn't have too much power at all, like at all. He he just had some timing. So, yeah. Was I impressed with Austin Brooks? No. Um I was I was actually I was definitely going for Victor on that fight. I wanted I wanted to see I wanted to see the prospect get done up on that one. I'm sorry. That's just me. But hey. I like the underdog sometimes. So yeah, with that being said, as always, peace, one love, and we out of here. I'll see you at the top.